Hi everybody. Blessings for Equinox. So here's a little story for you. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, the woodland animals gathered for a very important meeting. They were having a party and they had a very special guest. The goddess of Stara was coming to the woods to visit. Now, some of the animals were very well off and it was a bit of a competition to see who could give the best gift to the goddess. Mr. Hare, however, was quite poor and he felt really inferior to the other animals. He searched his home for a gift for the goddess. He searched high, he searched low, under his bed and on the highest shelf. He checked his fridge and his larder, but poor Mr. Hare had nothing to give to the goddess, apart from one lonely egg. So Hare decided to decorate the egg and he did it with such care and attention and it was truly beautiful. So off Hare went to the party. The other animals were giving gifts of silver and gold, precious gems and crystals. By the time the Hare got to see the goddess to give his gift, he was feeling quite anxious. And he held out his gift to the goddess Astara. And she looked at him and her heart opened to him. Here you go, boy. Hare had no riches, but had given the offering from the bottom of his heart. <laughs> the goddess saw, look up there. What a beautiful gift this truly was. And it was a gift from his heart. And a gift from the heart is much more valuable than any riches. Astara appointed the hare as, as her special friend. Hmm. Just like my special friend, dear Lord. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you can see the moral of this story. You know, we don't need riches, we don't need gold, and we don't need silver. If you decide to make some kind of offering to the goddess today, it can be something simple, like your last egg, you know? It can be, excuse me, oh, a gift from your heart, something you treasure. Oh. <laughs> anyway, everybody, um, brightest blessings and however you celebrate or don't celebrate um lots of love from me and my boy and remember what we hold in our hearts are our true true gifts to ourselves and to others <laughs>